Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 37. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so welcome back to Tourist Trophy, and today we are doing... Series number 22, this is the final one, the one we've all been waiting for, the TT World Series. This is the longest one as well, um, so there's seven events, and each one of these as well is uh, seven laps long. So it's going to be one hell of a long series for this one. Um, so I think all of these, we should be fine with medium tires except Suzuka we might have to go to hard because uh, Suzuka the past times um, doing five laps we've had like a nearly completely worn rear tire so I don't want to risk that one um, but we'll also see how it works with uh, Laguna Seca for the first one but uh, we'll be starting off Laguna Seca going to Suzuka moving to the twin ring and then Fuji Infineon Back to the Twing Ring and then the uh, Circuit of Valencia. So uh, let's get started with this Suzuki GSX-R 1000 Racing Modify. Let's go. Right, so here we go. We are at the Laguna Seca Raceway. The bikes that we are going up against are a Triumph Triple Speed, a Honda CB1300 Super Bowl Door Racing Modify, and an Aprilia RSV 1000R Factory. Um, so I think the Suzuki is much faster than the Aprilia. So uh, we shouldn't have too much of a problem. But let's get started. Let's get on with it. We basically want to overtake a bike ev every two laps. Nice. Good start so far. Perfect. I'm not actually 100% sure what the other bikes are actually using in terms of tyres. I presume they'd be on a very similar compound to us. Just to make the game a little bit fairer. That was a very nice corner there. The question is, can we get through the corkscrew safely? And by the looks of it, we can. That was very good through there. Awesome. Nice. We've made some very good overtakes so far. And what on earth was that? What on earth was that? The bike just crashed into us. Trying to sabotage our race. Now we've lost so much time to the bike ahead. All the time that we had gained has now been lost. Just like that. We are going to have to gain about one second per lap on uh, first place. Which I don't think will be too bad. Right, let's just get this pass done and dusted with. Okay, we didn't get crashed into this time, which is good. A massive distance gain as well there. Just got to be cautious of this section here. And I think I have worked out my braking distance for this race, so we should be able to take the corkscrew very well. And obviously this is what I would call my bogey track. So I'm not actually great at this track compared to other tracks. I know Suzuka we are much, much better at. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, what we're going to do for like a tire wear comparison, I think I'm going to do it based off of time. So uh, a lap around Suzuka is around about uh, 2 minutes 15 compared to the 1 minute 30 of um, Laguna Seca. So in theory, if you do the maths, we're doing one and a half laps of Laguna Seca for one lap of Suzuka. Yes. So the stage that we'll be at the end of this race will be the exact same stage we'll be at on around lap five of Suzuka. Um, so yes, we need to use the end of this to work out whether it's appropriate to use hards or continuous softs. Uh, medium, sorry. Soft wouldn't last at all. And there you go. Perfect braking line. Whoa! Crappy driving line, though. Awesome. This is really, really good. Oh, we might have overshot the corner a little bit. Oh, nearly did. Do a little bit of a wheelie, why not? Perfect. We're already on lap number four. That is insane. I think this uh, this championship is going to be split up into three videos. Um, I think it will be first two races, races three and four, and then five, six, and seven, and then that will be the series done. Nice. Fourth time through the corkscrew now. Onto the brakes here. A little bit early. Very nice. The fact is, I'm finding this fairly easy, right? Oh, oh why? why don't I just shut up sometimes? Why don't I just shut up? <laughs> the fact is, I'm finding this much easier to do the uh, Tourist Trophy World Championship than the uh, Gran Turismo World Championship, which is very confusing. You would expect this to be just as hard, like they'd have more advanced AI or something like that. And I mean, you have got the Aprilia hot on my tail, but I'm not struggling with this. I'm not struggling with this whatsoever. That is very good. That's much better. Very good braking line there. And we got the braking line nailed. The corkscrew is very difficult though to get that uh, proper line. Based on the fact though that we are technically now only halfway through the Suzuka race. Um... I have a feeling hard tyres are going to be necessary for that race. Maybe not the rest though, we can maybe bump it back up to mediums for the rest. But I think Suzuka will definitely need hard tyres.
That's very good there. We've got a sizable lead up on the Aprilia right now. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Very good. Coming up to the final lap now with some very worn out tyres. Do a little wheelie just to show off. Be the big show off that I know I am. Nice. Bum 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 bum. Perfect. Oh, hard on the brakes. Very nice. Coming up to the final section of this race now. Not long left to go. Perfect. If you want to know the uh, breaking point with this bike for that corner, it is the rear wheel uh, matching up with the start of the tyre marks. That is like my reference point I've been using. And it's done a very good job. And so have these tyres, surprisingly. Managed to hold up for an entire seven lap race. Very nice. And there we go, across the finish line. What was that time? 10 minutes and 58 seconds. Fair enough. I will take that. That was amazing. Epic. So I'm going to have to save the replay and go straight to the next race. Right, so we are here at the Suzuka circuit. The full track for seven laps. And uh, we're going to go into the bike settings quickly. And uh, we are going to swap out from medium tyres to hard tyres. Uh, so this way the tyres don't wear out as quick. They'll still wear out. Uh, but hopefully not as quick. And we've obviously got gear ratios. I don't think we need to adjust any of this stuff. Because uh, mainly I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> or what any of this does. Um, but we do have that sorted out. So hopefully, our bike should be fine in terms of tyre wear. But obviously, this is the first time we've actually used hard tyres. We haven't used hard tyres for anything else because we haven't needed to. Because the tyres have been fine. So I'm hoping the grip levels are okay. And to be honest, the grip feels pretty good. It's obviously not as sticky. Um, that first corner definitely felt a lot slower than normal. But hopefully the uh, use of these tyres is going to extend the lifespan dramatically. Because I'm just a bit worried about them all going like completely red and not being able to drive. I haven't done a test like that yet, so I can't even say that's what's going to happen. Oh, 
awesome. Obviously, we're going to find it a little bit more difficult to catch up with the Aprilia. Because of the fact that we have hard tyres. The harder the tyre, the less grip, but the more durable. You think if you could put like scooter wheels on these, they'd be the most durable things ever. Those things last years. But then you would also have the massive problems of just not being able to drive. Nice. Right, coming up to the timing line, we're going to start breaking there. And that is a good breaking line. And then before the opening towards the side there, seems to be another good breaking spot. And it's actually more than 2 minutes 15. So technically it's probably about 11 laps around Laguna Seca to do 7 laps around here. I think this is the longest lap in the game though. Except for the Nürburgring. But we don't have a race around the Nürburgring. Which is a shame. I think that would have been cool to do a race around the Nürburgring. Very good. Slow down a little bit there. Our tyres, the rear ones, are still bright green. So hard tyres was the choice to go for. Because these are definitely going to last. We do go very wide at that corner though. I haven't worked out how to uh, adjust my line to get a very good uh, exit there. We've not got long left to go. We got five laps. Catching up with the other bike has been fairly easy, surprisingly. Uh, it's not been too much of a problem for us. Look at that. Straight past, just behind the timing line. It's a good point for us to slow down if we didn't get crashed into. Stop crashing into me! What the hell was that? He didn't even fall over. Unbelievable. I fell over. <laughs> you heard the bike just go thud. That serves you right for trying to crash into me. I was legitimately racing as well for once. I don't even crash into bikes to overtake. I do, I've done like proper genuine racing for this entire series, except for one of the races where I did have to corner cut to get the points, but uh, I still didn't sabotage anyone's race, unlike that guy. Oh, unbelievable. We're going sideways. That is not ideal. To go drifty man mode. Oh, really? Nice. 
Oh, I messed up my breaking point big time. The Aprilia is miles behind though, so not too much of a problem for us at the moment. Where the hell was my breaking point? I remember I had learned a breaking point for that corner, but uh, apparently I've just forgotten everything. Perfect. Too late again. That breaking point is so difficult to nail. I'm going to keep falling off of this track as well. Because I'm not going to be able to get a grip on how to take that corner. Perfect. Very nice. I think that is now the halfway mark. So we are halfway into the race and not even suffering any form of tire wear towards the rear of the bike. And to be honest, it's not slowed us down too much either. It is nowhere near like Gran Turismo where it's got a massive difference between tyre compounds. I mean, you think Formula 1 is about a second between each compound. Gran Turismo is like 10 seconds between each compound. It's ridiculous. Nice. I missed my breaking point. Oh, I tried not to fall over. Absolutely ruined it. And we're actually going to get overtaken. Because we crashed on the fastest corner. But while they all start suffering from uh, tyre wear, we're still going strong. Decent. we got three more laps left to go. Perfect. Let's see if we can get this uh, driving line nailed. There we go. That was much better than the last attempt. There we go. Nice. Once this is done, or once today's recording session is done, I'm taking a three-week break as well. So 
so uh, that's going to be nice. I'll have enough videos to still be able to post, so. But I'll be taking a few weeks off. A well-deserved break. I also need to look for a job. That'd be a good start as well. I think we started breaking way too early there. Oh well. And front wheel. Where was our braking? What? <laughs> I think we are going to end up crashing on that hairpin every uh, that chicane every single time. This is a good track. But you can't take the bike chicane. Why the chicane is moved for bikes, I don't know. Because they can easily take the car chicane, and it probably would be easier. Nice. really well so far. Right, onto the brakes. Oh, that's the first time we crashed at that corner as well. We definitely do have to watch out. I think we've been a little too aggressive. And I mean, our rear tyre is only just starting to wear out. Which is very good. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, where was the breaking point? No! Stop crashing! Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> We're going to get overtaken again. It's coming on to the final lap as well. Oh, well, if you're... That serves me right big time, doesn't it? I could do... The AI tactic of crashing into other bikes. I've got to try and not fall off this lap. If I fall off, it's game over. I may as well be uh, saying hello second place. But then again, I only need to win four and come second in three. So... Come on, we can get a good lap here. I mean, the AI cut corners anyway, so it's fine. It's illegally allowed. Oh, wow. Okay. But we were on a slow intersection, so that's actually benefited us big time. But we now can't crash either. I was trying to get a perfect lap, and I am trying, but I'm also pushing. Because, like, there's a bike trying to catch up with me behind. Oh yeah, and this is a uh, bike that we have 
already ridden to victory because of the fact that it has the uh, number one on it. This bike has already taken us to glory. Alright, we're looking for the timing line. Timing line, there it is, just behind it. It's the only option I have to go that early. I've got a bike behind me trying to catch up, but it's not enough. We're going to take the win. At least we got that final chicane nailed. That was very good. 16 minutes, 40 seconds after crashes. Unbelievable. Wow. I'm surprised by how bad I drove. <laughs> horrendous absolutely horrendous but uh we'll go to the next one we'll swap over back to our medium tires and should hopefully have a very good final few next five races so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe if you want to help support the channel then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description and don't forget to check out the description for our social links we have instagram discord and twitter but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye